前方说开，呃，跟开始啊，赶紧开始。嗯。要不然他们慢一点吧，他们那上面可以稍微缓、呃、缓一点。那个呃呃，弄猴子的那个老师慢一点，把猴子慢一点下来。成为动词教师。Good morning, guys.、Uh, we are live now at Central China. This is a national nature reserve. I'm with Xinhua News Agency. My name is Shang Yang. Hi, guys. I'm Zhang Mocheng, also with Xinhua. Now we are hosting a show in the woods. In the Just, woods. guys, what we are going to show you today? Well, we are、um, actually surrounded by such gorgeous and、uh, breathtaking views. This is. A spectacular scenery here、yes. in the Shenongjia Nature、mm. Reserve. Yes, we are now hosting the show in Shenongjia, a national rich nature reserve in China. And you can say that the、uh, scenery is very beautiful and the view are breathtaking. But we probably won't spend too much time to show you how beautiful here it is because we are on a special mission today, right? Yes, we are looking for the, the monkey, monkey king. king. So, what is the classical pose for monkey king? You just <laughs> maybe look at this. Oh, yes, <laughs> just、that's、for fun. A, yeah, that that just for fun, guys. So, monkey king is a renowned figure in a lot of Chinese literatures, movies, and dramas, or、yes. even in Peking opera. Yes, monkey king is a mythological figure in Chinese literature and is loved by children around the world. So, so in I believe in many children's eyes, monkey king is. As seen as Chinese version of Harry Potter. Yes. So why we are here looking for Monkey King, guys? Because in Shenongjia, in this mysterious place, there are a bunch of rarely seen animals、uh, who are beautiful and courageous and smart, and、uh, they're one of China's national treasures. They're called the Golden Snub-nosed Monkeys. So,、golden、by the、monkeys. way, what is the connection between the Monkey King and Shenongjia? Well, because、uh, such animals、uh, live here, and、uh, there are about a thousand and three hundred of them, but today we're probably going to meet ninety of them. Later, you can find the connection between monkey king and the rare monkeys here living in Shenongjia because they have similar appearances, and maybe their character characteristics are the same. They are very brave, smart, and courageous. Yes, they're one of the primates,、uh, so have very similar living habits with human beings. Yes, and、uh, the way they move, the way they you know、uh, they, they they walk, they run, it it really looks very close to what human beings do. So, guys. If you're just tuning in, we're now live in Shenongjia, a national China, a nature reserve in China. So,、right. the most exciting moments are yet to come. You can miss it. Right.、Uh, so, if you're just tuning in, I just want you to let you know. Please stay tuned with us because we are looking for the Monkey King. Actually, they're called the Golden Snub-nosed Monkeys. Yes. Rarely seen animals in China, but here we are at a national nature reserve. It's called Shenongjia. In Central China's Hubei Province. Yes. So if you want to say hi, please leave a message. Or if you have any questions, you can write them down in the comment section below this post, and we will try to answer your questions as quickly as we can. If we get quiet. If we get quiet, we can hear can, the birds singing、yes. and the water flowing. I can、here. hear a call from the woods, not far away from us. Maybe the rare monkeys are close by, so I can't just wait to see them. Can you hear something? I think we better keep quiet so as not to bother them. I think somebody is coming down from behind us. Why not hide ourselves and、uh, observe the monkey? From a distance. Oh my goodness! I think I see more than one monkey. Oh, coming they are coming.、Down. They're coming, guys. More than one golden snub-nosed monkeys are turning up. If you are just tuning in, we're live in Central China. You are watching golden monkeys coming down, 
and uh, from the mountains approaching the camera and yes um, they are moving towards us why not a great dam oh my god they're they're getting so close to our camera guys yes guys do you know that it is a rare opportunity for us to show you the rare monkeys living in this mysterious forest in Shenongjia. They are called golden snub-nosed monkeys. You know, in the past, this area is not open to tourists for sightseeing, but only for scientific research. Oh, they are coming here. So, it is really, really a rare opportunity for you to see these monkeys coming so close. Wherever you are, welcome to our live show in Central China's Shenongjia National Nature Reserve. So guys, this is how close we are. This yes. is so close we are with the golden monkeys here and uh, Thank you guys for following us. We are now live in Shenongjia Na National Nature Reserve and what you are saying is the golden snub-nosed monkeys. How many of them? Welcome our viewers. Welcome our viewers from Indonesia, South Africa, and a lot of countries like the U.S. So thank you so much for tuning in here, and uh, I want you to stay with us for this exclusive tour. We are getting close. We're getting so close to one of the most rarely seen animals in central China, and uh, they are one of the national treasures of China, the golden monkeys or a snub nose monkey. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we will be careful, but actually they are friends of us. Yes, they are friends, friends of us, and they won't hurt us, so we are safe. So don't worry, we're, we're going to be safe for sure, because they are just friends of us, and these cute animals are smart, courageous, and they are now not scared of people, we can get along very well. In fact, the snub-nosed monkey is a kind of primate, and they are one of the closest relatives of other human beings. Wow, I can't believe that they are so close to us. Let's keep quiet and uh, just let the monkeys say hi to our camera. Yes. So you might see, you might be seeing some of the staff, uh, researching staff here. They are, uh, you know, giving uh, peanuts uh, to feed the monkeys, and that is also one of the ways to lead them down to their breakfast location. In fact, the staple food they eat includes tree leaves, insects, and seeds, fruit, and so on. So some, uh, most of the time, they are. Vegetarian, I think. Right. This is such an exclusive tour here in central China. Uh, it's a national nature reserve called Shenongjia. Yes, Shenongjia has uh, an area of about 2,600 
square kilometers and with the highest peak. Look at this one. Yes. What he's doing? He's busy eating some leaves and grass. Now he's walking. Is it a he or she? I, I cannot tell, but uh, very cute. Very cute, very lovely. Yeah, lovely, cute animals here. Rarely seen animals. Golden monkeys. Hello. Hi. Say hi. Okay. Hi. Now he's climbing up the tree. Yes, the golden snub nose monkey is actually. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh. Now he's, he's, he's Maybe walking. he or she is a little bit shy. He's not very um, used to facing cameras, I guess, because this so. is such a limited area and uh, mm. for researching stuff, for scientific research, um, not a lot of tourists can, al can be allowed to come here. The field is just for monitoring their living habits and for uh, scientific researchers to study uh, this rare species. So guys, this is a really exclusive tour to you and with privileged access, we are allowed to show you the most amazing wildlife yes. here in Shenmueng. I'm actually now very excited because this is my first time to get so close to the golden uh, monkeys or snub-nosed monkeys and later on we will be spending some time with them and uh, get even closer and to see how they have their breakfast how they, uh, you know, talk to each other, uh, to just learn about their activities and their social habits. Hi guys, we're now live in Shenongjia, a national na nature reserve in China. So wherever you are, please, if you have any questions, please let us know, mm -hmm. and we will answer questions as quickly as we can. So you can you can see we're now both lowering our voices because we don't want to disturb them, we don't want to bother them. Let's get closer. Look at this one. He's sitting on the branch. So, wow, maybe it's his way to say hello. You know, golden stub monkey has very long tail and long golden hair and blue face. It is one of China's national treasures. And is, it is now under top protection in China. As important as a giant panda, I think. Yes. Say hello to the little monkey. So guys, if you have any questions, and uh, I want you guys to feel free to ask, and this is such a rare opportunity to bring this live show to all of you from around the world. I know we have viewers from South Africa, Indonesia, and uh, just stay with us and uh, talk to us. This is the best chance for you to get so close to yes. the golden monkeys and yes. to learn about uh, their activities. We are now live in Shenongjia, a national nature reserve in China. Look above. Whoa. This they is are the one just above you. Jumping from tree to tree. They can run so fast. You see the way they walk? Uh, such, you know, they're, they're, they're light and they're very, very fast in, when they walk They move very run. swiftly from yes. tree to tree. So, so now we are in Shenongjia. You know, Shenongjia protects uh, the largest primary forest in central China, and it provides uh, an ideal habitat for rare animal species, yes. including the giant Chinese salamander mm -hmm. and the Asian black bear mm -hmm. and the clouded leopard. And the most famous one is, of course, the golden monkeys here. Wow, we have, uh, we're now seeing so many golden monkeys. Well, guys, uh, uh, this is such a uh, rarely seen animal here in Shenongjia. But now we w we're safe, no worry about that because they are our friends. We can get along pretty well. You know, earlier, and uh, golden monkeys are afraid of people and uh, tourists are not allowed to come here. How many years old is he, do you think? 
maybe two or three years old. This is uh, uh, nine, around 9 a.m. Uh, in, in China. Maybe it's getting to uh, probably 10 to 20 past 9 a.m. here in central China. So it's morning in central China, breakfast time for the golden monkeys. Tell us where you are and what is your uh, local time there. I know we have viewers from South Africa, uh, from Indonesia, and uh, many, many viewers from around the world. So welcome to our show. I think they're very friendly to us human beings. They are not dangerous, actually. They're a docile animal, and yes. uh, they're not fierce. And, uh, but um, they used to be afraid of people, but now uh, with the researching stuff, uh, spending more time with them, they're now very friendly to people and they're not scared um, anymore. You may wonder, what is the biggest size can it grow? Uh, probably 50 to, 50 to 80, 80 centimeters. centimeters. Wow, they're, wow. Just, they're just passing by. So guys, if you are interested in our live program, you could say hi to these little monkeys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And we are ready to answer uh, all of your questions as soon as possible. Yeah, we've been thinking about bringing uh, you know, live shows. Uh, we have different episodes of Amazing China. Each time yes. we take you to a different place in China. But today it's such an exclusive one because, you know, uh, these animals are endangered species in China, yes. one of the national treasures, and they are under top level national protection. So n normally, uh, we're not allowed to get so close to them, but this, with privileged access today, we're able to show you, you know, such beautiful, courageous, smart, and uh, rarely seen animals. Yes, and this area, in the past, Normally, it won't open to tourists, but only for scientific research. So it is a really an ex exclusive tour for you guys. So we're now in Shen Nongjia. Uh, Shen Nongjia is a national nature reserve in central China. It's uh, about 30 degrees north of the uh, latitude. Mm. And uh, yes. this is such a one of the best preserved forests in China. Well, they're not. Well, uh, naturally, uh, gold monkeys are docile animals. Uh, these animals you're seeing right now are not trained animals. They're just wild. They are living monkeys. in the wild. Yeah, yes. in the nature reserve. We're not in a zoo, actually. We want to tell you that we are in the wild. Right, this is not a zoo, guys. This is a nature reserve in central China. We're now getting so close. <laughs> so close. This is a bigger one. Saying hi, look at him. He's just saying hi to our viewers, maybe. You know, different sounds from them represent a different, different meaning. Maybe they are just saying hello to us. Right. And look at this. Do you think it is just what we are finding? Right. Do you think it is the Monkey King? Probably he is the Monkey King. Oh, let, let me tell you guys, you know, there are about 90 uh, of them today. And yes. this is one of the groups living in Shen Nongjia. And they're separated into five families. I know what you're thinking about. <laughs> Some of you are just asked a question. Whether they could just, take them away and raise as a pet. Well, you want to take it home uh, to use it as your pet. I've thought about that question myself too. I want to get as many as I can to bring it to my house, but, but impossible. It's impossible. Because they're just wild animals. They're not pets. And also, this is uh, one of the animals that is under top level national protection in China. It's one of China's national treasures, and they are also facing imminent danger of extinction. So, in order to better protect them, uh, we should uh, leave, leave them uh, f live freely in the outside, in the wild, so we can never raise them at your home. 
Right.、Uh, so, guys,、uh, if you're just tuning in, we are live in Central China, a national nature reserve, Shen Nongjia. Now we're walking just in the woods and uh, uh, surrounded uh, surrounded by a group of rarely seen animals. This is the place where they often get breakfast, right? Yes, we're getting to the location where these goat monkeys are getting their breakfast. So later on,、uh, even more exciting because you're gonna see how goat monkeys have their breakfast and how、uh, they talk to each other. They may fight for food, and they might even fight for love. Yes. Now, the human beings and、uh, the monkeys are good friends, but in the past, they are so afraid of human, and when they saw people, they would run away. Right. So, what is why we are so have been so close to to them today? Why? What we have done to approach the rare monkeys in Shenlongjia here?、Uh, with our、uh, scientific researching staff and.、Uh... So guys, if you're just tuning in, feel free to comment with any questions. We're live、uh, with、uh, the rarely seen golden monkeys, snub-nosed monkeys in China.、Uh, so feel free to、uh, ask any questions if you want to learn more about this golden monkey. We are now getting close to their breakfasting site, guys. So follow us and see how they were eating their breakfast. We can get a closer shot to these animals. So earlier we had a few live shows on the giant pandas, on the Chinese sturgeons, and also today we're live with、uh, the goat and snub-nosed monkey. They're all China's national treasures. They're all docile animals. You may ask, guys. Here we are. are, are here we are. We're now.、Uh, they're now having their breakfast. They're eating peanuts for today, and、uh, you're just watching a group of rarely seen animals. And、I、one of our viewers just asked, "Can we、why? touch?" Or they are such docile animals, and normally we don't touch them because they're they're、yes. still wild animals. We don't want、yes. to disturb them or bother them. They're now、so、having、now. their breakfast. But if sometimes, if you want to get close,、yes. if you uh, you know uh, raise your hand, they might be touching. Maybe if you hold a peanut in your palm, and the snub-nosed monkey will come close. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let, your... Okay, let's see what happens if we try to feed them. Do you want to have a try? Yes, it is、I、my、think. honor. Wow! Now they're fighting. I think they're fighting. Sometimes they fight for food and they fight for love. Yes.、Uh, let's let's see what what will happen if we if we try to feed them by ourselves. And、guys, oh, they are grabbing the peanuts from my hand, and oh my God, the two、uh, of peanuts. John is are, just holding some. Oh, oh. eaten by he's now these numbers monkeys. Touching. Shy, shake hand with. Shake hands. Go one ahead. One of them. I think it won't hurt me. Oh, 
Oh, oh I no. touch. Look, I, I look. Touch. I'm touching. He is grabbing my pants. He's, uh, He's grabbing my pants now. Very lovely. Very intimate. Look at this one. His his hand is just on your knee. Yes. And uh, he don't want to leave you. Yes. <laughs> Very lovely and cute, right? Yes. If we take a closer shot, you can see that its face are blue. Yeah, blue face, and long golden long hair. Long golden hair, and its tail actually is about the same length with its body. Guys, you see how close this monkey is, and uh, he's now uh, John's new friend. I think they get along. New friend. Yes, I think you guys get along pretty well. So, if you have any questions, you could ask us. <laughs> now you're My, lowering a voice because you want to disturb them. Yes. Do you want to have more peanuts and to feed him, or you wanted to stay with him like this? So, if you, so if you guys want to, let us feed more peanuts to these monkeys. You can let me know, and. Look. Maybe I think I can reward him with another peanut. Another peanut? Because I you think can ask for our I researching staff here. He loves me very much. Okay. Oh, no, oh he's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> Do you want to have more peanuts? Yes. Now I have two peanuts. And. Oh! oh. oh. Wow, well, they are fighting for food, I think. A big monkey just comes by. Look at this yeah. one. This is a, the size of a big Wow. So, uh, these golden monkeys... <laughs> these golden monkeys, eat, uh, they can eat uh, tree leaves, barks, and fruits, and also pine nuts. But today we're feeding them some peanuts here in the woods. And this little monkey. Wow! Whoa! What are we cute? Oh my god, he just got some peanuts from you. I think yes. he's happy. It's very delicious food for him. Right. Guys, you're just looking at golden stub nose monkeys, one of China's national treasures. We're live in Shen Nongjia. A national nature, nature reserve. reserve. And here Shenongjia protects uh, the largest primary forests in central China and provides an ideal habitat for the golden snap nosed monkeys. So, what you are watching now is a live show. Our topic today is finding. The monkey king. So that's why you can see there were so many rare monkeys around and us. And one of our viewers just asked the life expectancy of these monkeys. It's between 25 to 30 years. That's their uh, average life expectancy between 20 to 30 years. And also, these um, monkeys now are divided into fa five families, and the head of the family is the male. And maybe they, are, they can be called the monkey, monkey king, king. Yeah, of the families here. So they live in families, and uh, uh, each family is a relatively separate group. Yes. And, and the male each family is, is head. dominated by a male as its head and accompanied by several wives and you see, baby monkeys. Yeah, you see this newborn, this newborn monkey is with his mother. And uh, let me see how old is he. This is how old is he? This is only, one? he's only one month old. And the research staff told me that in this family, there are about a total number of about five baby monkeys in this family. Right. Yes. So a male monkey normally has a lot of wives. And uh, they can have, uh, you know, to the most, maybe eight to nine wives to the most. Yes. And at least they have two or three. So sometimes they fight for their wives. Yes. The, they you know, they not only fight for food, but also fight for their love, for their might. Yes. Uh, 
So every uh, wife is uh, f is fought, um, and uh, because uh, you know who is stronger, the stronger one can get the wife, and uh, then uh, have new babies. Yes. So guys who are now live in Shennongjia, a national nature reserve in central China's Hubei province. So today we are going to find the monkey king. So. Who are the monkey kings? I think monkey, monkey kings are stronger and powerful. Yeah, the pregnancy uh, for each uh, female monkey is about mm. uh, six to seven months. Yes. And uh, each time they give birth to a single baby. We've never seen twin goat monkeys that were born here. So each time they give birth to a single baby and the uh, pregnancy a time is about six to seven months. Yes. These are gentle animals. Right. Yes, very friendly to our human being. You see, these little monkeys are about a month old. They're newborn golden monkey. And uh, now they're with uh, their mothers. And uh, such a nice family time. Actually, the snub-nosed monkey is a special kind of primate with three different species respectively living in China's Hubei, Yunnan and Guizhou provinces. And what you are watching now is the golden snub-nosed monkeys, which is the most beautiful one. Yes, uh, I know you might be wondering how big is Shennongjia. You know, this National Nature Reserve stretches an area about 2,600 kilometers. Square kilometers. Yes, square kilometers. And uh, we're now, uh, it's actually one of China's first pilot uh, national parks. So Shennongjia, that's the name of the place we're at right now. One of China's nine pilot national parks. So separate from big cities and far away from human activities, Shennongjia National Nature Reserve is a prominent place of biodiversity in China. So you can find so many diversified species living in this area. Yes, I think you can, uh, you don't have to always lower your voice now. I think <laughs> the, the monkeys are used to us being here right now. So uh, yes. feel free to talk to our viewers. Why not feed them again? You want to feed them again? Yes. Look now, this one is spending some time with her baby. They're eating peanuts for now. Now this time. Whoa, they are stand upright. Whoa. I think this is a mother. Snap those monkeys. Once you have food in your hand, they will approach you. For his baby for, for her baby. Do you hear their calls? What their calls mean? Different sounds mean different meanings, and uh, it might be a, a way to say hello, or yes. a way to voice their, uh, maybe they're scared or threatened. So it's just their way to, to you know express their feelings. I think they are waving hello to us. Maybe. It's, such, it's just so nice to see uh, the monkeys live in families. You see the mother monkey is holding uh, her little baby and um, surrounded by the mother's arms, the little baby. It's just uh, you know, embracing a new life here in Shendongjia Nature yes. Reserve. And uh, they have blue faces, long golden hair, and a long tail. Uh, looks very different from other monkeys we've seen. Um, now, and that uh, little monkey you are now watching is about one month old. Yes. A newly born baby here. So, we are now live in China, central China's 
Shen Nongjia National Nature Reserve. For most of our viewers, I think it might be their first time to see rare animals. Can you guys believe we're live now in central China with the most rarely seen monkeys in the world, maybe the golden monkeys or snub-nosed monkeys. And uh, there are about uh, 1,300 of them here in central China's National Reserve, uh, Shen Nongjia. But today we are with a group of 90 of them, which are divided into five families. And so the head of the family, we can call it the monkey king of yes. this family, because they are live, living in families, right? So how many monkey kings here? Probably five, because we have five. So each family is led by a male, who yes. is the king, maybe? Yes, guys, we are surrounded by about 90 snub-nosed monkeys. Right. And there are five families here. Mm -hmm. And also, you must notice that, that there is a special group, another special group. They are formed by single males. Also, oh, male-only groups. Yes. So, as uh, guys, uh, let so why me. Why there is such a group? Okay, let me tell you because you know, uh, growing up to two or three years old, male monkeys will be kicked out of family, so they may approach to other families and try to guide, get male monkeys to for mating. So this phenomenon, phenomenon is very interesting. This is just to avoid inbreeding. Right. Yes. Uh, that's why male monkeys, when they are uh, two or three years old, they will be kicked out of the family, family and they will approach other families and try to get other female monkeys to be mating. <laughs> Guys, feel free to comment with any questions since we are here live in uh, Central China's National uh, Nature Reserve. We are uh, getting so close to the golden snub-nosed monkeys here in the forest of Shen Nongjia. So feel free to ask any questions. Yes, this is a rare opportunity for us to show you the most amazing life in Shen Nongjia. So please feel free to ask questions and we are ready to answer your questions as many as we can. So uh, uh, you are noticing our uh, monkeys eating peanuts. So where do you know they get water? So uh, I think they can drink water um, from the little streams that we, had, we have just passed. Yes, uh, they get water from little streams or mountain rivers. Yes. So uh, that's the, or uh, springs from the mountains. So that's their way to get water. And uh, you know, a lack of food is one of the main reasons, especially in winter, is one of the main reasons for the slowing population growth. So, or snap nose the monkey. That's why we have this so food supply program. Yes, there is a to food support supply. Their growth. Right, right. Yes. Uh, we have this uh, researching uh, field that were set up uh, in 20, 2005. Yes. And uh, so we are giving extra food uh, that can be offered to these monkeys, especially in winter. Yes. So uh, the population is on the rise, even yes. though it's there is a slow uh, growth, but it's still on the rise. Yes. Now. You can say there are about 90 snub-nosed monkeys around us, almost twice as many as they were found here. Yes, mm. and this year there are 11, so far there are 11 newborn uh, monkeys, and yes. uh, in total there are about uh, 1,300 uh, golden monkeys here. In the whole area of Shen Nongjia. Yes, yes, uh, about 1,300 of them. Also twice as many as they were found back in the 1970s. 
Yes, so the works by the researching uh, field has paid off. Yes. Uh, this is such a harsh condition for them to work in because, you know, in winter, there can be very heavy snow and the snow can be knee, knee deep. deep. As, as deep as the knee, as your knee. So a lot of uh, the conditions are harsh, but they still have to work with the monkeys and monitor their living habits, follow them, provide food, and uh, you know, just to be their friends and to accompany them, to yes. help them survive. Uh, but this area is still um, a, a primary forest. Yes, a primary forest. Central China, uh, this well now in Shenongjia, in central China's Hubei province, and Shenongjia protects the largest primary forests in central China. So it provides an ideal habitat for these cute monkeys. Right. Any other questions from our viewers? So uh, Shenongjia is famous for being uh, the best preserved forest in, uh, you know, around the area of north uh, latitude, 30 degrees north of the latitude. So uh, it's really yeah. ideal for a uh, diversified uh, plants and animal species. Uh, that's why we found the most famous monkeys here uh, in the world, the golden monkeys. And, uh, you know, the trees are uh, really... Um, there are a lot of trees here, yes. and uh, we have rivers, trees, mountains, and the waters are fresh. Uh, such a beautiful environment. This nature for reserve these is carefully preserved. So, in order to protect this wildlife, all of the look residents have been relocated out of the nature reserve. So uh, uh, the ex pregnancy time for each female monkey is about, about six, six to eight months. Yeah, six to eight months, and uh, the shorter can only... than a human being. <laughs> right, uh, shorter than human beings. Uh, so for human being, they're about ten months, right? Yes. Uh, so six to eight months so, for a pregnancy time. So how many and, babies? Uh, well, each, each time, time for each time. Each time they only give birth to a single baby. We've never seen twin monkeys that were born. So. One time, one baby for a time. So in this National Nature Reserve, there are about 1,300 to 1,500 uh, yes. golden monkeys here. And you are watching now the 
golden slumbers monkeys, and there are about 90 of them around us. Yes. Uh, and there are many more in the whole forest of Shenouja. Yes, uh, about 1,300 to 1,500 of them here in this National <coughs> Nature Reserve. But today we are uh, surrounded by about 90 of them, uh, so. which are divided into five families. And uh, each family is led by the male, uh, which is the head of the family. So do you know that the population increased uh, twice as many as they were first found in the 1970s? So these golden monkeys are, uh, they live here. This is the home of them, uh, uh, the Shen Nongjia. So they're not brought they, here from anywhere else. They're, they are they natives just live to here. Shen Nongjia. Right, they are the natives of uh, the Shen Nongjia uh, forest. And uh, we're in this National Nature Reserve. That's the home of the golden stubnosed monkeys. Shen Nongjia is a paradise for wildlife. Right. Well, they eat uh, uh, for, for their food, they eat uh, tree, tree leaves, leaves barks, barks, and fruits. Insects. Yes, insects, fruits, and also uh, pine nuts. So, the researcher told me that there were about 280 foods that. Different types of foods different types for them of to food eat. For right? them to eat. In mm -hmm. So that's why we say Shenongjia is an ideal habitat for these rare monkeys. Right. The golden snub nosed monkeys, a national treasure in China. And now they are under total protection in China. They are as important as the giant panda, actually. Well, uh, <laughs> snub nosed monkeys were here. Uh, as early as the icing age, probably, and uh, about so, millions of years ago. Right. Uh, they have lived here. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say this is their home uh, here in Shenongjia. Millions of years ago, they started to live here. Yes, but I have heard from the researchers. They say that not until in the 1970s did they begin to realize the existence of the golden snubnose monkeys here in Shenongjia? So guys, one interesting thing that I want to tell you, uh, you know these monkeys, they uh, sleep on the trees, not on the ground. Yes. Is that interesting? Yes, and I noticed that the little monkeys are so energetic that they don't want to sleep. You wanted to spend as, as much time as possible to yes, hang out to with their families. To hang with their peers. Yes. To jump from tree to tree, to play with their, with, with their friends. Well, they don't need injections to for medical care. And because there are all kinds of different medicinal plants that were uh, ground here in Shenongjia, so they eat those medicinal plants. If they get sick, that's how they get cured. So yes. no injections uh, needed. Yes, the herbal medicine in Shenongjia's magic is, is um, a good treatment to take the care of the monkeys, right? The monkeys, yes. Because this is uh, the best preserved forest in the area of uh, 30 degrees north the latitude, so uh, such a ideal environment for the monkeys and for a lot of different species. So they eat here, they live here, and they drink water here. And uh, if even though they get sick sometimes, yes. they eat the medicinal plants to get cured. So uh, it's such an ideal environment. It's actually, Shenongjia is a place of great scientific interest in terms of botanical research and it was the destinations for many famous international um, explorers plant plant collecting expeditions mm -hmm. which are con which were conducted in the 19th or 20th century yes so if you're just tuning in guys uh, i just want to you know we are with right now we're with a bunch of 
beautiful, beautiful and courageous smart animals, rarely seen. Snub-nosed golden monkeys, one of China's national treasures here. And today we're here.、Uh, this is one of their breakfast locations. We're here to just to learn about their activities and just to say hi and let them meet our viewers from around the world. So such an exclusive tour today. I want you to stay tuned and feel free to ask any questions. So this is a real opportunity for you to save so many beautiful lives, and with privileged access, we are allowed to show you the most amazing life in Shennongjia here. So stay with us, and you can't miss it.、Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, you could write your questions. Below this post, and we will try to answer, answer them、right. as many as possible.、Mm -hmm. Guys, if you're interested in our program, you can thumb up or repost. And if you have any questions, you have. If you have any questions, we are prepared to answer your questions. Yes, we're live now in Central China,、uh, one、uh, of the national nature reserves here.、Uh, it's called Shen Nongjia, an ideal place, also the home of snub-nosed monkeys. Wow, guys!、Uh, wow. A lot of the monkeys are now getting off the trees. They are here to eat some peanuts uh, uh, fed by our starching stuff. So、um, this is such a rare opportunity because we're so close to the snub-nosed monkeys, golden monkeys, rarely seen, and、uh, one of the national treasures of China. And、uh, you know the life expectancy for、uh, this group of monkeys are 25 years to 30 years, and uh, uh, we have 90 of them right now. So they are called golden snub-nosed monkeys. So that's why their nose turning upward. Yes, and they have、uh, blue eyes, yeah, blue, blue face. Blue. Blue face, blue face. <laughs> yeah, you're touching yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and golden long hair. Yes, golden long hair, blue face, blue eyes, and、mm. snub nose. So that's why they called snub nose monkey. Snub nose monkey. monkey, golden snub nose monkey.、Mm -hmm. That's why it is、exactly. one of the rare species. Well,、um, a male monkey has about、uh, to the, up to about eight to nine wives、uh, for mating, and uh, you know uh, the life expectancy is 25 to 30 years. And each time when the male or female monkey gets pregnant, it takes about three to seven months for the baby to get born. Yes, and, and each、uh, time、yeah. one baby for for a time. They only give birth to single babies. We've never seen twins so far. Yes, and these monkeys live in families,、right. so each family is dominated dominated by a male, and accompanied by several wives and some, some baby monkeys. Yes, so when the baby gets to, especially the male baby gets to two or three years old, they will be kicked out of the family, and they will go to other families to try to mate with other females. But they have to fight for because a lot of male 
monkeys or one or two mate with one female. Yes. So they have to fight. So for they this not chance. only fight for food, but also fight for food and uh, fight, fight, fight for love and their mate. Yes. We see uh, the main food for some of the monkeys here are, you know, see some of them are eating uh, leaves, grass on the ground. Uh, they eat uh, tree leaves and the barks, uh, fruits or peanuts or pine nuts. And uh, it's such a rare uh, scene. Wow. It's getting close. I can't believe we have been so close to that. Yes. Guys, uh, one of China's national treasures here, uh, the golden snub-nosed monkeys, uh, who has uh, blue faces, blue eyes, snub nose, and a very long tail, long golden hair. They have very different appearances with, our, with other monkeys that we know. Uh, you see they're eating tree leaves and... Uh, May You see, they're uh, it sounds yelling. like they're yelling, but actually, it's their way to express their joy. Yes. Uh, or when they um, raise their voice, uh, they're, they can that can represent different meanings. Sometimes it's their way to say hello, or uh, if they get threatened or scared, they also will shout out loud. But now, I think it's their their way to express their joy. They're just saying, oh, I'm very happy now. <laughs> Look at this little one. He's eating the, grass on the, the ground, and tree leaves. leaves. And he's busy eating for now. You know, uh, these monkeys have two meals a day. And uh, the breakfast... One. Yeah, breakfast. For the breakfast? Just... Yeah. Maybe I think... So, fighting always occur between families. Right, uh, because they have to fight for food and sometimes the male male monkeys will fight to, uh, to get mates. Yes, so each family is ruled by a male monkey and what is his duty? He, he should try his best to protect his family members. Yes, uh, that's all we say. Each family has a monkey king. Yes. Oh. Actually, what what you are saying now is the golden snub-nosed monkeys living in Shennongjia, a national nature reserve here in central China's Hubei province. Yes. And there are five families of them and one special group which is formed by single males. Yes, yeah, single males. And, and uh, they have to fight for their chance to get chance a to, mate. To mate and be the monkey king of mm -hmm. the of my family. By the way, can I try again to feed them? Sure, you can ask our researching staff to get some peanuts and then see what happens when you hold your peanuts in your hand and facing the golden monkeys. Okay. Now I'm getting some peanut. Oh, wow! They take the peanuts all at a time. And this one, maybe I think, he is the monkey king of this family. to shake hands with them. Let's make friends. So uh, a lot of viewers are asking the Chinese name for golden uh, snob nosed no, monkeys. Uh, actually, you, we can translate that uh, with their literal meaning. Golden, uh, ha they have golden hair. So in Chinese, we call that uh, Jin Si Hou. Jin actually means golden. 
Si is the hare, so monkey is hou. Jin si hou is the Chinese name for golden snub-nosed monkeys. So uh, Jin si hou, guys, that's the Chinese name for golden snub-nosed monkeys. And right. uh, they have very long golden hair, long tail, and a blue face. That's why they look very different from other monkeys in the world, and it's one of China's national treasures here. We are just so close with them right now, and uh, they're having their breakfast for now. Okay. Uh, Morning. Do you want to get so close our to them? Will, our viewers want us to interact more with this monkeys let's so see. why not yeah let's see what happens when we feed them with our peanuts so can we get uh, some other peanuts whoa they call me okay now we're gonna be feeding the monkeys here Ooh. whoa whoa wow whoa guys whoa they want more food from Zhang Peanuts uh, in his hand. Maybe peanuts is their favorite food. And this little monkey is just like asking for peanuts. Oh. oh my god! You can't imagine how oh cute my god, they are. He's holding my hand. They're eating um, peanuts for now. Whoa. Whoa. That's our researching staff working here, and uh, they're getting yeah. more peanuts and uh, from the hands of them. The staff are from the Field Research Center for snub, Golden Snub Nose Monkey here in Da Long Tan. Yes, Da Long Tan is the area uh, that uh, located this researching field. Da Long Tan is actually a very remote place. Wow, guys, look. And now we are at an altitude of about 2,200 meters. Okay, and uh, the area stretches uh, about uh, 2,600 square kilometers. Yes. Wow, oh, that's how they get peanuts from our cameraman. You see, uh, they, love, they love peanuts. And we're feeding more. Guys, look. Wow, one more. They're so happy. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. What happened? Wow! So they like to climb up the trees, and also interestingly, they sleep on the trees and not in the ground. Interesting. So huh? besides peanuts, they also eat tree leaves, tree leaves, barks, insects, insects fruits, pine nuts, fruits. So sometimes if staff members will take apples or carrots or pine nuts to feed these monkeys. Because the lack of food in winter uh, is one of the main reasons for the, for the slow population, population growth, growth for snub nosed monkey. That's why we provide, we have this food supply program here at the researching field to provide more food, especially in winter, for these monkeys yes. and to help uh, you know, um, grow the population. Yes. And now there are about 1,300 of them living in the nature reserve of Shandongjia. You see how close we are with them right now. And, uh, oh, hello, I don't have peanuts with me, sorry. Um, but they eat train leaves. These are baby monkeys. Uh, I don't know how old is this one. Two to three years for this one. And I think not long. Um, therefore, um, they will be kicked off by his father. But this is a female. Okay. This is this a, is a male, boy. A boy. This That's is, the head of the family. This is the one of the monkey kings. We are looking for. Whoa. 
<laughs> is he trying, He's to, trying get... to grab <laughs> grab your uh, mic? Well, uh, there are about 200 types of different foods to feed these monkeys here in Shandongjia. Uh, mostly are tree leaves, barks, and also sometimes they eat insects or eggs from birds. So a lot of different kinds of foods for them. Uh, but look at this one. Look at this one. The way this he the... sits just tells you something. He is the head of the family. Yes, he is just the monkey king we are looking for today. You know, he is just looking around, take care of his families. He has to make sure everybody is safe. And the, look at the way he sits. Just tells you he is a leader, the head of the family. But the position of monkey king is hard one. Mm -hmm. So he has to fight. He has to fight with other males to win his position in this family. Yes. So guys, we're live in central China, uh, the National Nature Reserve uh, of Shen Nongjia. We are with uh, the beautiful snub-nosed golden monkeys here. And uh, this is just one of the families here we are. And uh, this is the head of family, the male who leads the family, protects the family, and uh, makes sure everybody is safe. And uh, look at the way he sits. Pretty interesting. I think the two are a couple. A couple? And maybe she is the Monkey King's wife. Wow. He's leaking his own hair. So sometimes they would spend some time grooming their okay, hair. his name, his, his name, name is Ho Ho. Ho Ho. Thick thickness. <laughs> so because he has thick hairs. Let Let's look. Take a look. Take a look of our cat. Okay. Just now, uh, one of the monkeys is just uh, sitting on the shoulder of our cameraman. Uh, such a interesting scene here. Okay, guys, take a look. Wow, he's climbing. Wow. He's climbing on our uh, live climbing. equipment and try to get the peanuts. <laughs> so you can say they do no harm to our human beings and we are close friends. They're just uh, so cute and uh, smart uh, animals uh, climbing uh, so fast up to the trees. But they also sleep on the trees. Can you believe that? And this one seems a little bit lonely. <laughs> this one is a little bit lonely sitting right now. And uh, wow, wow, okay, look. <laughs> Maybe he has no friends here. Maybe he's upset. Yes. I think later they would have a rest at noon. Oh my god, we have more peanuts now. And uh, now they are getting off the trees. And uh, they start to have more food here. Well, so little monkeys are held by their mothers. Woo! This is a baby monkey. A baby monkey. He's and, busy uh, looking for food. Right. Ooh. As they climb, jump from trees to trees, uh, the, the, the leaves are falling and uh, that's one of the ways we can tell the monkeys are getting close, are approaching. So how heavy can an adult Snubnose monkey grow? You tell me. About 50 to 60 kilograms, I think. Oh my God. And this one, it looks bigger than the rest of his, uh, the members in his family, I mm -hmm. think. Maybe he is about 50 kilograms. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! Oh my god. Because sometimes they fight for food. So just now, happening in front of us, two big monkeys are fighting with each other. Actually, there are five families of golden snubnose monkeys here today you are watching. Mm -hmm. So each family is led by a male monkey yeah, yes and he has to make sure the safety of his family members right uh, so he has he to fight the... with other family leaders mm -hmm. he is the leader and uh, he is 
the boss actually. Oh my god, look at this little cute one. What is what <laughs> one of the Don't monkeys scare, just, friendly to us. One of the monkeys just clammed on the back of me and uh, they eat the tree leaves. You say so this, this is a year baby we monkey. Have, right. And this year we have 11 newborn babies. And they normally were born uh, during the month of March to May. Yes. For this year we have... So we can stay there. We have a surprise for you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we have peanuts. Whoa. Oh my God. He Whoa. is the cutest one. He is the cutest one. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. wow. <laughs> you have to stay there. You cannot move. Oh They're fighting for food. Oh, on the no, shoulder I don't of have mine. Food. Sorry, sorry. I don't have food. What are you doing now? <laughs> <laughs> now they are climbing. Are you okay? <laughs> So, guys. Oh my god. Wow. Hello, we don't have more food. Say hello to him. Well, now, so knowing that you don't have food with you, then he will get off. A little bit disappointed. He is. So, he left. He left. <laughs> so guys, um, we are live here with uh, the pretty, beautiful, and smart golden snub, snub-nosed monkeys here. And right they now, are they are searching China's. for peanuts. Yes, they are one of China's <laughs> national treasures. And they are as important as the giant panda. Yeah, they're even facing a uh, danger no. of extinction. Yes, in fact, they are facing more surviving challenges than giant panda. Mm -hmm. They're under top-level national protection here. And, uh, uh, you know, a researching field was set up in the year of Hi. 2005. And uh, since then, we had this uh, food supply program to provide extra food to help grow the population of this rare Look species. Look at this one. Now they're lying on the ground. Well, we have five families, and uh, each family is led by a male who is the leader of the family, and each uh, has a name. Yeah, each leader of the family has a name. Uh, someone might be calling uh, Little White because Little White. yeah, he is very white, and, uh, and some someone called Mr. Bo courageous, courageous because he's very courageous and very he is bold. not afraid of anything. Or another one is called Little Strong because he is very strong and powerful so now, very this one is lying on the ground leader. i believe he is full of star full of peanuts in his stomach hi hello now he is grooming uh, grooming and uh, brushing his hair that's why their hairs look so clean Wow. Do you, <laughs> Hello, guys. We have more. Oh, 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 he sees it. He's coming. Take the peanut. Wow. Now he's getting even closer to you. He want to know if you have more peanuts for well, him. What he's ready to do. He's searching for more food. Wow, well, say hi. Say hi, hi. to our cameras. He would actually touch your hand to check if you have more peanuts in your hand. He just, I just want to make sure he has all of them. Guys, we're not in a zoo, actually. Mm, we're in a uh, one of the best preserved forests in uh Wow. A lot of leaves coming. 
And uh, yeah, this area is 30 degrees north of the latitude, yeah. yes. uh, which is an area best known uh, for a lot of uh, landscapes like Sahara, the pyramids. The Mount Everest and the pyramid in Egypt. Yes. So, but here we are in central China. Uh, it's called uh, Shen Nongjia, a national nature reserve. It's also one of the nine pilot national parks of China. And in 2016, last year, Shen Nongjia was inscribed as a natural world heritage yes. for its outstanding ecosystems and biodiversity preserva preservation on the rare animal species, mm -hmm. and especially the golden snub-nosed monkeys. So, sometimes they would spend time grooming their hairs. Well, if you see some female monkeys just uh, picking box for the male monkeys, that's their way to please them, to get attention. Uh, that's their way to express, maybe they had a crush on this male monkey and they want to yes. please them and get attention from them. So very, very interesting to know how these monkeys interact with each other. So, yes. You know that a snub nosed monkey is one of our human beings' closest relatives because it is a kind of primate. Yes. Very yes. much close to our human being. So, just like human beings, they live in a united family. Mm -hmm. But sometimes love affairs do happen. Yes. Guys, guys, we are about to show you something even more exciting. Our cameraman will just be feeding the monkeys right now in front, right in front of our camera. So you will see how close uh, this will be for you to see how monkeys get Whoa. peanuts. Someone is approaching. Peanuts. Peanuts here, guys. Oh my God. The hand you're, you're, you're seeing right now is the hand of our cameraman and he is just feeding the monkeys in front of the camera. I want you guys to see how close the monkeys are to our camera and now, wow, he gets all the peanuts from you. <laughs> Don't worry, they won't harm us. They are friendly to our human beings. More peanuts. So each time he grabs all the peanuts from the hand of her cameraman. Wow, more is coming. Oh, look at this one. The mother holding her baby and getting another peanut from you. Actually, they are not ordinary monkeys, they are a very quite special group of monkeys. They are called the golden snub-nosed monkeys with blue faces and long golden hair. They are one of China's national triads and the top level protection in China. And they are as important as a jet panda to China. So uh, this is our such an exciting moment here with the cameraman from our crew just feeding the monkeys with peanuts in his hand and uh, the, the monkeys are excited to see that and they just they will just come here and grab the peanuts from our cameraman uh, a very interesting scene because they love peanuts yes he's he wants more <laughs> he wants more you guys take, okay He's not dying He's yet. He's very interesting in our camera devices. He just want to make sure, okay, I want to get all the peanuts. I want to make sure if you have more or not. Oh, see, he's still walking around our cameraman. And uh, wow, well, I think now he's done. So you have to open your palm to, yes, yes. to let he know. Let him know that is, you have peanuts in your hand. You have no just, peanuts. Yeah, we'll just come here and grab it. No. Guys, more, more monkeys are coming behind us, guys. Take a look. A vast group of monkeys are just approaching our camera here. These are the national treasure of China. Uh, golden monkeys, snub-nosed monkeys. It's like a parade of monkeys right now. Actually, there are five families of them. Yes. And a special group, which is formed by single males. Right. We can call that Bachelor Club. 
Oh my god, they're fighting, fighting. This is how old, teacher? This is three years old. Thirteen years old. This one. What is his name? He is called what name? Xiao Zhu. Xiao Zhu. Xiao Zhu. In Chinese, Mr. his name、Loyal. is Xiao Zhu. <laughs> yes. Look at this one. He's grabbing my pants. He's looking for pe. Ah, he's looking for peanuts. I don't have peanuts. He's searching, guys. Woo! There are little monkey behind you, and he's staring at you. Take a look, guys. Our camera person is holding more peanuts for them to eat. One more. We have one more. Oh my god! Okay, this one has it. To be honest, I'm a little bit. Hungry. <laughs> you want to have peanuts? <laughs> yes. Wait a little bit, okay? Because monkeys are hungry now. They want to have peanuts first. Yes. One more peanut. Two more. Okay, he has it. Monkeys are in priority. Right. So we should, we should serve the monkey first. Mhm.、Mm、well, there's a little monkey grabbing my pants. <laughs> grabbing your pants? Yes. I think I think this is the youngest monkey. Okay, here comes one more. Get the peanut for sure. One more peanut. Ooh, ooh. One more. I think our camera person is so busy today. Yes. He has to feed the monkeys right in front of the camera. Guys, if you think they're cute, you can thumb up or repost. Yeah, share this、uh, video with your friends. You know who might be interested in knowing this rare species, the golden snub-nosed monkey, is here in central China. This is a one of China's pilot、uh, national parks. One of the nine pilot national parks here. This is in central China. It's called Shen Nongjia. Also, it is one of the most famous World Heritage Site. Yes. So we have more questions coming in here from our viewers, and、uh, you know,、uh, in Shenlongjia Nature Reserve, there are、uh, a lot of、uh, monkeys here. But the most famous group are this rare species called snub-nosed monkeys. We also have other, other ordinary monkeys. monkeys, but other monkeys live. Uh, you know, under the mountain or the lower attitude.、Uh, yeah, at a lower attitude. But、uh, but the snub-nosed monkeys, besides being、wow. having this very unique appearance, blue face, blue eyes, and Go golden hair,、here. they also live in high on high mountains with an attitude of、uh, more than one thousand and two hundred meters. Yes. So、uh, to know them better, let me tell you again. They they look very different, of course. Golden hair. Uh, blue eyes, blue face, but also they live uh, uh, over an attitude of a thousand seven hundred meters,、uh, uh, you know, above sea level. Now we are at Da Long Tan Field Research Center for Golden Snub-nosed Monkeys, which stands at an attitude of about two thousand and two hundred meters. Yes, the most famous、uh, monkeys here are the golden monkeys, and、uh, we also have other. Uh, you know, ordinary、uh, monkeys, monkeys that you might be familiar with in this area, but they are living at a lower attitude. And this one, this one, the golden snub-nosed monkey is more precious. Yes, They, one of the national treasures in China. Yes.
So compared to other ordinary monkeys, the golden snub-nosed monkeys are more docile and、uh, they are not fierce. They're not、uh, aggressive. They're very They're docile. They're friendly. Yeah, friendly animal. They live only on high altitudes,、uh, like in the、uh, mountainous areas. Yes,、uh, between 1,700 meters to 2,600 meters in this area. So they live in high, on high mountains. That's why we say it is a rare opportunity to bring you so close to the golden snub-nosed monkeys. So let me tell you something interesting. So earlier, a camera person has some peanuts to feed the monkeys, and now they cannot get away from him. Some monkeys are just sitting around our camera person, looking for more, asking for more peanuts. I think、uh, our camera person today is very busy. Yes. Uh, I think they have <laughs> been a pair of good friends now. Right, because he has a lot of peanuts to feed them, and、uh, they are now sitting around him and hoping he has more food for them. Do you think it is very cute and lovely, just like a little baby? Yes. So they likes to climb up the trees, and they also sleep on the trees, not on the ground. Such、uh, an interesting,、uh, you know, thing、so、to are, know. They are a good climber, right? They can jump from tree to tree in the dense forests in Shenlongjia Nature Reserve. Very swiftly. Yes, very swiftly. As they swiftly. move very swiftly. They're good at jumping. I think their tail may have a. And have an effect to help him when he jump jumps from tree to tree. You know his tail. For, yes, for balance. For balance. Look at this one, the little monkey, sitting on the tree barks. So cute, the little monkey sitting on the tree, guys. Uh, you're watching uh, a snub-nosed monkey, golden monkey,、uh, here. Oh, now he's climbing up. So Shenlongjia take care. Hi guys, I am now very close to one of the snub-nosed monkeys here. He is eating tree leaves right now and sitting on the tree barks eating. Hello. Oh, okay. Now he's a little bit shy.、Up. A little bit shy. Maybe he is afraid of me, but not afraid of you. Okay. You <laughs> wait, huh? Wow, he sees it. He sees it. Okay.、Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding my hands to ask for more food. Or now you're. Yes, you, you、okay. might be seeing on、wow. on camera a lot of、uh, you know female monkeys holding their little babies, and、uh, it's their way to take care of their babies.、Um, but for how long? You know, can they be finally be、uh, independent and、uh, live on their own? Maybe for two or three years, because when they get two or three years old, the baby monkeys, the male baby monkeys, will be kicked off. Of the kick it out of the family. Yes, and they will be、uh, going to other areas to try to get their mates from other families. So, so until they are a、uh, one year old or even older, and、uh, they don't need、uh, their mother to take care of them anymore. They can, they can walk on their own. Yeah. Independently. Yeah,、uh, but right now, you know, the female monk is just holding their babies. Hugging them, taking care of them,、uh, not until they are one year old. Just like human beings, you know, take care of the babies 
uh, until they can walk on their own, uh, until they are one year old, one or, year old. Yeah, or even older. Wow. Shenongjia is a paradise for these cute animals. <laughs> Such an, a paradise, an ideal environment I for could, a lot of... I hope of... I could have stayed in Shenongjia for a little bit longer. You know another legendary story about Shenongjia, the Shen... Bigfoot? The Bigfoot, yes. You know that there is a legend, and the legend says Shenongjia is home to Bigfoot. Like yes? ape-like. Primates. A black primate which can stand upright and it is very much close to our modern human being. Right. But I've never seen one. Yes. Whether they have been living here or not is just a mystery. But there are recordings of sightings of them. Yes. So that's why uh, Shenongjia is such a mysterious place. So that's why Shenongjia remains one of the most hot spots for tourists, tourists and um, especially explorers from all over the world. Right. Wow, look at this little one. He is brushing his hair and uh, holding his feet. <laughs> so interesting. Well, you see, uh, golden monkeys, uh, of course, they have golden long hair. But, you know, uh, when, when at first the date status born? of their life, when they were just born, they may have dark hair, uh, brown Gray hair. Gray hair. Yeah. White hair. Yes. And, but when they grow older... Uh, the color of hair will change to golden. Mm -hmm. Finally, they become... The, the monkey king. The monkey king, the golden hair, yes. a golden monkey. So that's why we say... The golden snub-nosed monkey is the most beautiful one among the snub-nosed monkeys. Oh, look at that one. Girl. The female monkey is just holding her baby. Well, um, to protect and take care and also help grow the population of this rare species, we have a researching field set up in the year of 2005. 2005 here now, in Dalong Tan. Yes, uh, now, you know, we have a, a platform of re with researching stuff and fellows and also surveillance cameras has been uh, established. Installed? Yeah, installed in different areas of this forest to really better monitor their uh, lives and uh, especially in winter yes. you know when the weather gets extreme and harsh so, uh, we want to have uh, enough food supply for so them. a lack of food su supply is the main cause for their slow population growth yes. in winter so you are looking right now Well, uh, this is uh, breastfeeding, I guess. Breastfeeding. Breeding the yeah. baby monkey with milk. Breastfeeding for the monkey. And golden snub nosed monkey is a kind of special primate, just like a human being. And the this is the breastfeeding, uh, breastfeeding of a monkeys, golden monkeys here. You know, this little baby. I think it's, it is extremely rarely seen. Yeah. Breastfeeding of this little monkey here by uh, he or her mother. Do you know, do you know that in the past, Humans could, couldn't be so close to the rare animals. Yes, because the golden monkeys were used to be very scared of, yep, of uh, people. people. And they would run away if we approached them. 
But right now, you see how close we, we are uh, so, with them. So it is very difficult for other human beings to earn the trust of the monkeys. Yes. So do you know how they earn the trust of monkeys? I know you have answer for every question. Just say it out <laughs> loud for our viewers, okay? So the researchers told me that first, they sharpened the branches of trees. Oh, okay. The monkeys always came to. Okay. And then they hang apples on oh, the branches. To supply more food for yes, them. Yes, but at first, the monkeys wouldn't eat them at all. Because, you know, the snub-nosed monkeys living in the wild are afraid of people and won't eat unfamiliar things. But now, uh, with the help, so, uh, the hard work of the research and stuff, now they can yes. have fruits with like peaches, apples, and carrots, and uh, it really helps to grow the population of such rare species in China. Do you know how they made it at last? How they, they wrap the apples with grass, oh. the favorite grass of the monkey, and the and the first monkey who is. The, mo the bravest or the most bold. It is the first monkey to get the food and the apple. Mm -hmm. So, and afterwards, many other monkeys do the same thing. Okay. That's a start. How are human beings earn the trust of those golden snub-nosed monkeys? Yes, that was a long process for uh, really for the researchers to get close, to earn the trust and uh, from the monkeys because that's the key step for uh, us to do the research, to better know this rare species and to learn their living habits and mating habits and to help grow the population. Yes. So since then, the food supply program has expanded a lot from apples to peaches to pine nuts and, and carrots. Yeah, and carrots. And the food supply, the food is not only supplied in winter but also on a daily basis now. Right. Oh my god, look at them. Well, uh, there are about 90 uh, uh, golden monkeys with us right now, and uh, they are um, divided into five families. And each family is led by a male who is the leader, or we can call the king, of this family tribe. Uh, and each family is accompanied by more than one wife. Of course. And, and at least the two or three babies. wives. Yeah, uh, at least the two to three wives, or maybe eight to nine wives. For each male, so but uh, it is not easy to for the um, monkey king to win the mating rights with his wives. You know, it's really a, a, a feeding of uh, survival of the fittest because uh, if if it's a strong a strong and big monkey, he may has have better chance to get a mating mate. Yes. Uh, because the, the, the males will fight so, for wives and fight for food. Uh, it's really uh, sometimes there are a lot of fightings involved. You have to be strong and powerful as long as you want to be the monkey king. Yes, if you want to get more the wives. The throne of monkey king is how do you want. Right, so you know the female monkeys really uh, prefer stronger and more powerful. courageous, powerful male monkeys uh, to be their husband. Yes. That is the rules of jungle. Yeah, the rules of the jungle. Who, those who is the most powerful is the king. Right. So uh, I know we have a lot of viewers from around the world are joining us right now. Um, viewers from the US, from uh, South Asia, from South Africa. So I'm very glad you are with us for this very rare tour. We are in Shen Nongjia National Nature Reserve in China, one of the nine pilot national parks in China. Hope you enjoy our show. Yes. And if you feel interested in our live program, you could 
thumb up or repost. And if you have any other questions, you could raise, and later we will answer you. Yes, in terms of pregnancy, life expectancy, and living habits, mating habits, how they live, what are their main food? We have answered all those questions on our live show here. But if you want to know more, uh, just feel free to comment or write anything you want to share on the comment section here. We'll try to answer your question as, as soon as possible. I think most of them are going to slip. Uh, they slip on the trees and not on the ground. And uh, they have two meals a day probably. Uh, one, one is between 9.30 to 10.30. In the morning? Yep. And another one is probably around 4.30 p.m. In the afternoon? Yes. So, the golden snub-nosed monkey is native to China. Right, uh, they are one of the national triers in China. So you can only see them here in China. Uh, I just want to tell you again, this is a place called Shen Nongjia, uh, National Nature, Nature Reserve, Reserve in central China's Hubei province. And uh, one of the best preserved forests along the latitude uh, with 30 degrees north. So guys, it is a rare opportunity for us to bring you so close to these rare animals. And usually, this area is not open to tourists for such thing, you know. Right. Uh, this is not the viewing site for uh, golden monkeys. So that's why we have this privileged access to get so close, get in the woods to the location where they have their breakfast and be so close with them. So, But if you want to come here to view the monkeys, there are specific viewing locations or sites for you, but this is not the area for you. Uh, that's why I want to say you have to stay tuned on camera, stay tuned with our live show to have, you know, spend more time with this rare species, the golden snub-nosed monkeys. So this is a really exclusive tour mm -hmm. for you guys. Hope you enjoy our show. So, today our, our mission is finding the monkey king. So, many of, many of our viewers may ask, what is the connection between Shen Nongjia and the monkey king? Mm -hmm. You know, monkey king is very popular overseas. This is really a metaphor uh, because Monkey King uh, appears in uh, Chinese novels, dramas, and literature works, or in so, Peking opera. So, and it's especially it is loved by children from all over all, all over the world. Yes. But here in Shen Nongjia, Shen Nongjia is uh, is uh, provides a, an ideal habitat for the rare monkeys. Mm -hmm. We call it the golden snub nosed monkeys. So, you can say that. This golden snap-nosed monkey has similar appearance with that of monkey king because they both of them have long golden, golden hair. hair. Yes, and both of them are very smart, courageous, and bold. Yes, and uh, because monkey king uh, is a really a figure that appears in uh, Chinese novels, dramas, yes. uh, especially the story Journey to the West, a very famous story or novel uh, from ancient Chinese literature. And that's why Monkey King is well known to the world. And uh, it was described with, uh, as a monkey with golden hair and uh, very smart, uh, very intelligent. That's why we have this metaphor. We call these golden monkeys here in Shen Nongjia the Monkey King because, not because there is only one king or two kings, but because they have similar appearances and they're similar very famous. Similar characteristics. They're famous, they're national treasures of China. Yes.
Well,、um, you might be asking、uh, in winter how they、uh, sleep. But they still sleep on the trees, and、uh, but you know one family will actually get together. They will hold each other to be to get warmth. Yes, you know, in Shen Shenongjia, especially in、um, from December to、Hello. January, there's always <laughs> heavy snow, which is Look, often nipped. Yeah, sorry. He's just looking at me, and he's just checking if I have any peanuts. I don't. Sorry. Sorry. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Well, we said,、uh, you know,、uh, female monkeys give birth to single monkeys each time, and、uh, the、uh, pregnancy time is about six to seven months. You know how do, we discover we have newborn babies? Do they need any help? For example, the nurses or medical care? No, the answer is no. They will give birth to the babies on the trees. So when our researching staff discover and you know a female monkey holding. Uh, in his hand,、uh, in her hand, a baby monkey. A baby monkey. That's how we tell we have a newborn, a monkey baby. So that so, would be a very surprising discovery. The most exciting moment for the research staff here. Yeah, to is、uh, when they say、um, we have newborn monkey monkeys. We have newborn baby. Yeah. Coming down from the trees. So they sleep on the trees and they give birth on the trees. Even though in the winter, when the place is capped with heavy snow, they still sleep on the trees. But、uh, a single family, the family members、uh, will actually hold hands together. They will get together to get warmth.、Uh, very interesting. So that's you have to know everything. A lot of things happen on the trees. So, yes. Besides, they have. I think they have.、Uh, Thick hair, so they are not so、uh, afraid of coldness like of human beings、mm -hmm. because they have thick fur. Yeah, thick、uh, golden hair, long a tail, and、uh, but even in winter, the you know the family members will get together, they hold each other and they get together so tightly. That's their way to get warmth. To keep them from the coldness. So, guys,、uh, if you're just tuning in, we are live、uh, in Shen Nongjia National Nature Reserve of China, one of China's nine pilot national parks.、Uh, this is the home to the golden monkeys or snub-nosed monkeys,、uh, one of the national treasures of China, and、uh, they are rarely seen. We have this privileged access to get so close to them,、uh, walking on the woods, and、uh, just to get close to them. You know, golden snub-nosed monkeys is under top level protection in China, and they are as important as the giant panda, and、uh, they are carefully preserved here in Shenongjia. And the number of the monkeys has been steadily on the rise, and now there are about one thousand and three hundred of them living in this area、mm -hmm. in Shenongjia. National Nature Reserve. So, and in order to protect this beautiful wildlife, all the local residents have to be relocated、mm -hmm. out of this nature reserve. Yeah, to provide living space and to、uh, have this place not damaged. Yes, in the past, habitat loss is a major threat to the golden snub-nosed snub monkeys,、mm -hmm. and now. 
they, uh, they have a larger habitat than before. Right. Uh, so we have this food supply program to provide extra food for these monkeys. And, um, you know, a lack of food in winter, especially a threat to uh, their uh, slowing growth of population. So the research team have come up with an idea to carry out a food supply program. Now we're going to be following, uh, following our researching staff and uh, to walk the monkeys back to their home because this is just one of the locations for their breakfast. So after their, uh, the breakfast is done, now we're going to be uh, walking with them back to their living place. Now you see they're getting off the trees right now and uh, we, we want to walk with them uh, back to where they were before having the breakfast here. Stay with us and we are live here in Shennongjia, a national nature reserve in central China's Hubei province. Normally, this space isn't open to tourists, so it is an exclusive tour. Well, uh, golden slub-nosed monkeys can be found in China, uh, not only in Shennongjia here, but also can be found in the northwestern Shanxi province. Gansu. Or, yeah, southwestern uh, Yunnan. And Guizhou province. Yep. And, uh, but here we have the, a large group of them here in Shennongjia Nature Reserve. And we have golden snub-nosed monkeys here. And this kind of primate is the most beautiful ones among all of the snub-nosed monkeys. So now we're walking through the woods to walk with the monkeys back to where they were before having breakfast. Uh, that's their, way, uh, their place for resting. And uh, they come to specific locations for breakfast. Now we're walking with them and uh, back to where they were. So in the past, it is very difficult for the research team to track the monkeys. And day and night, rain or shine, they have to carry tents and sleeping bags just to follow the monkeys. It's really a uh, hard work, and, uh, but uh, their hard work has paid off with the good care of the researching stuff. And with the monitoring system, we are known, uh, we are getting more f familiar and uh, we have better data to support the research work so the population of the golden monkeys is getting larger yes and there are now 1300 golden snub nosed monkeys twice as many as they were found in the beginning. Well, this is a home for golden uh, monkeys here. They will not like go to other places. This is their home. This is their base. There, this is their ideal habitat. Right, uh, the paradise, the home for snub-nosed golden monkeys here. You're now seeing a group of monkeys walking back to where uh, their resting place. Because and, they uh, really live in mountainous areas with an altitude more than 1,000 meters. Right. So you see the monkeys are going uh, with their family members together back to where they were. We the see little monkeys. Baby monkeys. Yeah, we see mothers carrying little In her monkeys. Arms.
Wow. The monkey can stand, stand upright. Well, there, there, there are no tigers here in uh, the nature reserve. Hi. So in China, there is a slang or a proverb saying, if, if no tigers exist in the, forest. in the forest, then monkeys are the kings. Yes. That's why we, we have this saying, monkey king, uh, in a lot of literature works here. And uh, so we're now getting, we're going to be walking with our monkeys. So guys, So now we're walking with our uh, monkeys, guys. Uh, so uh, the, the monkeys are walking back to their resting place right now. And uh, you see they lined up walking on... Walking in line. Yep, yep. And uh, so guys, uh, this is our live tour here in... Shenunjia National Nature Reserve. So uh, this is live in Shenunjia Nature Reserve here, and uh, we are live here, and uh, the monkeys are now walking back to their resting place here. And uh, uh, you know the golden, the golden snub-nosed monkeys now are walking to their resting place. Uh, this is such a rare a tour, but yes. exclusive, exciting. We were so close to the golden monkeys, guys. We are very honored to offer you the opportunity to be so close to. This precious and rare. Now we're gonna say goodbye to them. Monkeys. Bye. Bye. You guys are so cute. You are they so are cute. Pretty and still beautiful. Still looking for food from us. Wow. So, bye guys. I hope you liked, liked our show and I will see you next time. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye bye.